Welcome everybody to another ASD Nation tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing an auto door for you guys in a full tutorial. My name is ASD Wolf and uh, let's get right to it. So to begin you're going to need to be having three plates. All right. What I did is I used the stacker tool. They need to be no collided and non-welded but frozen. All right. So how we're going to go about this is we're going to put the sliders on first. Okay. So you're going to take the slider from here which is the middle plate to the very far here to here all right and then we're gonna go over here to wire hydraulic you're gonna go from the bottom on the side plate to the middle plate on the far right all right we're gonna place whoa that, that didn't work right let's try that again There we go. Okay, and then we're going to go here to here. Make sure your hydraulic is fixed as well. That is necessary. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to throw down a target finder. Okay, the distance, I like the distance of about 125 to 200. I, however, am going to do about 175 because of how small this doorway is. I'm going to place it about right here. Alright, I'm going to take a few steps back and see where it's going to open up at. Okay, so this is where it open. I'm going to drop it down just a hair. Okay. And you can do greater or more depending on what your preference is. This is my preference, so that's up to you. Just as I always say in all my tutorials, um, everything I teach you can be implemented in different ways and in different things. Um, and I'll show you what I mean at the end of the video. Okay, so now what you're going to need is an Expression 2 chip. The expression I choose to use is this. Um, the inputs are going to be found, outputs are hydro. You got an interval of 10 milliseconds, so the chip will refresh itself every 10 milliseconds so that it'll make sure when the, uh, when it finds a player, you, anybody else, that it will go ahead and open. Right? Okay. So, now I'm going to show you how to edit this code um, to make it so that you can have an enabled or disabled door. So we're going to have enabled in our uh, inputs. I'm going to hit enter. And uh, here's how we're going to do this. We're going to do if enabled is equal to 1 then that happens alright okay but if enabled is equal to oop I've got my bracket enabled is equal to 0 hydro is equal to 96 all right. What did I miss? Oh, of course. Can't believe I forgot that. All right. So here's the code, so you can take a look. You can pause it, and uh, I'll show you guys here in just a second where I got that 96 from, because yours may be different depending on the plates you used or props, whatever you used. All right. So there we go. Now where I got that 96 from is we're at 95.4 for a distance. Okay, so I rounded up to 96 to make it nice and even. And I put it at 1 for the other part of the hydraulic because you never want to go to 0 because sometimes it'll, when it comes back, it'll bounce back a little bit farther and it won't come back properly. So when the door tries to close, it'll be going off to the side and then it'll start spazzing out and it's just, it's not good. Never put 0. So... Uh, give me just a second. I need to add somebody to to his proper group here. All right. So. 
now that we've got this all set up, let's go ahead and wire it up. Okay. So we're going to do bound to the target finder, of course. Length to hydro. Length to hydro. All right. Now let's give it a try. Now unfreeze the door. Uh oh. Hang on. That didn't work out quite right. Ah, you know what we forgot? We need a toggle button. All right, I'm gonna take the toggle button. And I'm gonna put it on the inside here, or over here, because you can kind of go through that. And we're gonna wire enabled to there. All right. Now the expression seems to be doing something a little funky, so I'll give me just a second. Hmm. Well, it looks like it's working, right? All right. So as you get up to the door, pops open. You go inside. Door closes. Oop! A little spaz there because they hit the top. But all right. So that's your door there. Um, I'm going to change the expression just a little bit though. Um, we're going to do it like this. Alright, so here's a look at the final code, so you can take a look. Basically, I'm telling it to do nothing. So, when it when it goes through and it's disabled, it means anybody who tries to come up to this door... Oh, it's going to be one upset panda, because they're not coming in. Alright. Thank you for watching another ASDN tutorial. Uh, if you have any suggestions or you would like to see another tutorial on maybe something different, a little more expression, uh, anything you'd like, please leave a comment in the uh, comments below. Remember to rate and subscribe. Appreciate your views. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon.